Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here. And in today's video, we are gonna be discussing Pokemon Legends Arceus and the question of how much civilization is really in this game. Now we've seen Jubilife Village in the trailers. We know that it is your base camp for exploring the rest of the Hisui region. But on the map that we got in the Pokemon Presents last month, we also saw that there were other humans dotted around the landscape. Are these more towns that you're gonna be able to explore as you progress in the game? Or are these just traveling bands of people that are also trying to kind of make it in the wilderness? This is gonna determine a lot of the gameplay functions of Legends Arceus, so it's a pretty important question. So with that being said, let's jump straight into things. Now, one of the things the Pokemon Company and Game Freak have been trying to sell us about Pokemon Legends Arceus ever since the original reveal is that this is a more wild, more natural, with less humans, and that's important, version of the Sinnoh region. This is Hisui. This is more, this is less of a temperate climate than we have in the original games. There are less people, there's less civilization. And we could see that right off the bat as Jubilee Village, the place that is your base camp, appears to be the most human-centric part of the entire region. Now, when we eventually got a map in the Pokemon Presents last month, you could see that there definitely are other human settlements here on this landmass. Up north, you can see that there is what appears to be some kind of snowy castle, maybe where uh, Snowpoint City eventually becomes. And along with that little pinpoint on the map, you can also see a group of roving people. Now they are dressed differently than the people we see in the Jubilee Village. And it's an interesting distinction because all of the people that we see dotted around the landscape of Hisui are dressed a little bit differently. And that brings up some interesting gameplay questions. Questions. Is this a separate civilization, a separate group of adventurers and explorers here in the Hisui region than you guys down in Jubilee Village? It appears as if, and a couple of you have pointed this out in some of my previous Legends Arceus videos, that they seem to be dressed more in a, a blue and a white sense. They're dressed more like Dialga, whereas there are some other people in the Hisui region on the other side of the Mount Coronet that appear to be more dressed like Palkia. And then of course, in Jubilee Village, it is what eventually will become Team Galactic. The symbols are identical. They've talked about ancestors of certain characters having counterparts in the original game. They are really trying to mimic the, the aesthetic of allegiances and different people in the original games, but just hundreds of years ago in Legends Arceus. The question becomes, are we gonna be able to travel across Hisui, travel from some of the more temperate regions down near the Jubilee Village into Mount Coronet, eventually up north, and are we gonna find more human civilizations? They've really been coy with this because from the bat, it appears that most of the world of Hisui is going to be wild. It is going to be fully explorable. It is gonna be full of rivers and forests and mountain ranges, snowy tundras. There appears to be something that could be a swamp or a desert down on the southern tip of Hisui. There's a lot here, and there's a lot for the player to explore in the wilderness, interacting with Pokemon, trying to work on your Pokedex, which is the main goal of the game. But having different human settlements would also do a lot to change the gameplay. Because in one vein, if you're constantly returning to Jubilee Village, then you're constantly backtracking. We do assume that there's gonna be some form of fast travel, you're gonna be able to fly, which is something we've already seen in the trailers, from different locations, and that's probably gonna speed things up. But you're always going to be going back to your base camp. If you had more towns dotted across the region, some of those services and some of those things you need from one certain base camp might be filled by other services in other towns. And that would mean that you don't have to do that backtracking. You don't have to go back to spots you were originally at in order to continue to progress in the game. You would have more check marks as you go along, as you discover more areas, as you encounter more of the story. And that's something that the amount of towns, the amount of human civilizations we see in Hisui are gonna be really dependent on. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free. You can unsubscribe at any time, and it would really mean a lot to me to show that you guys are enjoying these Legends Arceus videos and that you want to see more of them in the future. So with that being said, let's get right back into the topic. The next piece of this is that Having more towns in the Hisui region is also gonna do a lot to determine what the story of this game is. Now, we don't know a lot. 
Some of the core tenets of the story that we know about so far is that you are going out with your galactic expedition squad, essentially, and you are trying to document this world. You are trying to uncover what kind of Pokemon live in this region, document their behavior, catch them, research them. You're working on the first Pokedex, and you have a group of people, a cast of characters, that appear to be helping you complete this mission. Who's the real antagonist of this game? There's been some speculation ever since we saw how wild Pokemon are going to become enraged against you, that maybe Arceus is the actual antagonist of Legends Arceus. Maybe it's not that you need to use him to stop a bad guy, but maybe Arceus is going to be the bad guy. If we have one town and it is a fully open Hisui region, then I think that's certainly possible. But I think there might be something more at play here. And I think that the different civilizations that we might see in Hisui, the different towns, the different settlements, all vying for power, sway, and colonization, essentially, for the Hisui region, could be something that is angering Arceus. It could have led him to go rogue, and it could be leading him to make it so the wild Pokemon of Hisui are rebelling against human encroachment. And if this is the case, then it doesn't just become that Arceus is kind of a black and white protagonist. He's trying to protect what is, for the creation myths of the Pokemon world and for the lore of Pokemon, is an incredibly holy region. Hisui is where Mount Coronet is. It is where the the human Pokemon world meets the divine world. So if you are having different human groups encroach on this territory and do things to upset the balance of nature in this region, then you could see a a blowback from Arceus, which could eventually set up the crux of the story. But could it be that it's your own galactic team that are the ones that are upsetting balance, that you are the ones encroaching, and that maybe the people who live in other Hisuian towns across the region are the ones who are more living with nature? One of the things that we see on the map is that there appears to be farmers and other more rural settlements to the east of the region, whereas we're on the west. Could that have a role to play in how the human Pokemon interaction takes place in Hisui? And if so, what are your interactions going to be with these other people? Are these going to be people you're going to have to engage in Pokemon battles with because they don't necessarily trust where you're coming from? Or are these just going to be friendly NPCs, like some of the roving NPCs that we see in other open world games like Zelda Breath of the Wild, where they'll have a conversation with you, they might have a quest for you, they might be selling some things to the player, but they're not inherently hostile to your presence. Towns are going to play a big role in a lot of this because they're going to be the main markers of these groups, of these settlements. We know that there's other people scattered across the Hisui region. Unless it is just fancy art for the map, we know there's other people. It's just a question of what's their connection to us and the galactic area and the Jubilee village itself. And how does that relationship affect and impact the story? Is it going to be that there's a human antagonist, maybe in one of these other towns, or maybe it's within your own? Or is Arceus truly the villain? These are a lot of questions that are going to come up, and all of it comes from, essentially, how they're going to present gameplay to us in towns, settlements where you can come and rest from your journey, rest from being out in the wilderness in an open world game, play a big part in the gameplay and play a big part in the story. So with that being said, I would love to know what you guys think. Are towns going to be plentiful in Legends Arceus? Are we going to have a bunch of them dotted across the landscape? Maybe some are smaller than others, maybe others are larger. Or is the Jubilee Village really... is that really it? And once you leave this area, it is fully wilderness. Little to no human interaction. Pokemon wild as the eye can see. I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. It does a ton to support me and show me that you're enjoying this kind of content because we got a lot coming. We got months before Legends Arceus is going to drop and there's a lot to speculate on. So with that being said, I've been Linky. Hope you all enjoyed the video and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace out.